And we're live, and I am the man they know, Z, and as always, I am joined by Noob Noob. Hi. And also joined by director and uh, star of the most recent review of the first part of this episode of Thor. Welcome Scott back Keyboard. to our second part of our Thor review. I really feel like we need to do some sort of like opening theme, just like somebody with a super low voice, like... <laughs> And now, from the suburbs of Philadelphia, a little town you never heard of, here is Ork You Reviews with Z, Noob Noob, and Scott Keaton. All right, that was annoying. That was really gay. <laughs> Look, it's a, was ta- it? it's a try. Ostensibly that was a, gay. That like, was our version of immigrants. Very hey, loquacious. we tried it. Some intros. Hey, very what loquacious. are you trying lately? Very loquacious. Other than cock. Yep. That's yep. right. So we're here to spoil Thor Ragnarok, Thor 3. No one even refers to it as Thor 3. It's just Thor Ragnarok. It's just Thor Ragnarok because you want to forget about the second one altogether. (laughs) But yes, this is spoilers going in from the very start. Spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. If you watch this on YouTube, you will see lightning strikes. I'll do all kinds of fun effects. But yes, make sure you listen to the movie before you listen to this episode. You mean listen to watch the movie? Listen to then watch the movie and then listen to our first episode. episode. And then go keep your eyes closed, wear a blindfold, and then go watch it and then come back and listen to us and see what you agree and disagree with. Also and let us know. Episode. Get on our, our Instagram news feed. Get on Twitter. Get on YouTube. And let us know how much man souls you think we are, what you agree with, and what you don't. Let's have a communication about this. This is a movie worth talking about. Let's get into this, shall we? Yes, we can get into it. Uh, we all kind of agreed that we liked Ragnarok. It's all right. It's all right. It was at least like in 89 in your view, right? Uh, initially seeing it, yeah, and then just every day that passes, I just realize. You mean it's kind of his shit. weak mind is influenced by IGN and uh, all those other dumbass yeah. websites. This that website says no good. It's no webs- good. <laughs> this website says it's not emotionally resonant with me, so I just don't feel anything. Uh, Everybody feel actually like need, says they love it. Pretty I much. I need other people to except decide for the how websites that are forging your opinion. Yeah, the website in my mind. The website of you my mind, bitch. Didn't we already call these websites out and say they're pretty much garbage? Anyway? I'm not just a person of websites, Scott. We've called them out and, and called their BS on their reviews of other things. I remember the one you mentioned, we went through Defenders and called out all their BS on their, their, their spoilers. That was IGN, right? Yeah. I wasn't going to, Beef but guess IGN. what? There you Beef. go. There you go. Let's go. Let's go. You want to go? I'll go. What are you drinking? Lemonade. It's not good? milk this time. Oh God, we're good. You are a huge vagina. We gonna move on? No? Yeah, <laughs> he's a gaping <laughs> vagina. Way Let's move go. on. Just gotta stay loose and tight at the same time. So, uh, as far as spoiling uh, Thor Ragnarok, yeah, Thor dies. Yeah, Thor's dead. <laughs> Thor, that doesn't coming ha- out. Thor nope. died. Nope. Thor's dead. That doesn't happen. Yoda shows happen. up. Yoda shows Yoda up with Luke that's Skywalker. Star, that's, that's Star Trek. And stabs Thor through the heart. Okay. And then Sherlock Holmes shows up. And then he up. says, um, Anakin, you're hurting I've, me. I'm not know. your father, and I don't give a shit. I don't know what's happening right now. We didn't see any. <laughs> okay, so that's not really what happened. Yeah, Thor doesn't happen. die. That's not the spoiler. All right, that's not But now we will spoil it. I don't Thor know. dies. No. <laughs> no, 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 he doesn't. No, he does. He loses so, an eye, uh, like me. But the gay scene Lost between one Loki eye. and... The same no, eye as me, actually. Here. But yes, now that I eh, the first time I watched it, I was a little torn about him losing an eyeball. The second time I watched it, I was like, okay, I don't mind this as much. It it really there was a lot of stuff when I watched it the second time around. I appreciate it a lot more than the first time. I feel like I missed some of the jokes because I was maybe laughing or, or doing things like that. Him losing an eye is inconsequential. It was inconsequential. Is it just so he looks like his daddy? I think it was. I think Actually, it was more to um, you know. It, just, it's actually part of a uh, comic book storyline, old old man Thor. So. Oh, uh, was it? I, see, I didn't get a chance to look into that about whether or not there was a, a comic series that involved him losing an eyeball. Yep. That's a, that's see, the, here's the only thing He's about that is uh, there's a rumor going around that one of the stones is in 
Odin's eye. He's hiding it behind his like his eye. But how could that be possible now that Odin's disappeared? I don't know that he's gone. He's, well, he's then dead. maybe that's why he's in hiding. The I other, the other thing, he's dead there, either. I he's think dead. there was some sort of teaser so. trailer. I heard someone. Did you know just so turn into dust and you're like, I'm gone. Blah, 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 blah. When when he's going to come back more powerful and stronger than he was before, just like Yoda. Yeah, when you're mythical, you can do that. I heard someone talking about. It. I don't know if it's true or not, but there was something about um, uh, the Infinity Wars where it showed Thor with two eyeballs. Well, okay, here's a question for you. All right, so we're going back to – let's go back to Guardians 2. The end – there's a, there's actually kind of a bunch of questions that like those end scenes leave me questioning things. So the end of uh, Guardians 2, they hit Thor on their windshield. Does he have two eyeballs? Does anybody know? That's not Wait. actually the end of Guardians 2. Yeah, that I don't is remember the, that at one all. of those cut scenes. No, it's not. It's the D23 Disney Expo Infinity War footage. That's what that is. That has nothing to do with... Really, is it? Yeah. Damn. It just involves the Guardians of the Galaxy. And yes, he does have two eyes, but that was probably a specific non-spoiler event. Just like in the comics... Uh, not the comics. The trailers of this Thor Ragnarok, they show scenes where he doesn't have both eyes actually. But in the trailers, he has both eyes. So, it's just specifically meant to not show spoilers in him losing So do you eye. think they're just saying like he hit the Guardians of the Galaxy, fell off their ship... Didn't they pull him into their ship though? That's I don't I never I don't saw know. the footage. But I saw I, I the know. footage and it's like he's like a bug on their window and they're like get it off, get it off, get it off, and then maybe he f- goes back to Sakar. I don't know. Okay, so oh, they didn't explain wait, Jack. At the same that, time though, his brother is a magician, a mystical being, and they do happen to know Doctor Strange, the magi- ma- magician supreme. I forget what they call him. Whatever. Sorcerer but, Supreme. Magic Sorcerer of the mystical arts. Magical, uh, master of the mystical arts. I mean. I do think he knows a couple people that can Hamburger. be like, boom, you have an eye again. Uh, okay. You know, um, I, I don't gonna, think that's beyond the realm yeah, of Yeah, but gonna, then why would Odin not have an eye? Because Odin never went to meet these guys. <laughs> I mean, is Doctor mm. Strange stronger than Loki? I think he is. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mystical art? Yeah. Yes. He, they even mention that, I believe, in the movies. Yep. In the movie. Dude, Doctor Strange owns Loki yeah. in that. In the so movie. Why Loki can't... is more of a trickster, not an actual mystical arts even though the, master. Yeah, the god of mischief, but yeah, he is still a magician. He's a, he's he's a trickster. Does, yeah, he's a trickster. But Doctor Strange can w- wipe the floor with him. Odin never met Doctor Strange. So yeah, Odin never got an eyeball. No, that's not true. Odin it. did meet Doctor Strange because he says, your father came to New York and your father said he specifically... Afterwards, yeah. He wanted to be left alone. Yeah, afterwards. But I mean, at that point, he wanted to be left alone. It wasn't like, oh, by the way, can you give me back an eyeball? I think that's in- inconsequential. So, okay. Um, I, I don't know what the... You don't well, know what, what the point of any of, means? And any of that was. Yeah, but we're spoiling stuff, so we're talking about like the whole doctor. Yeah, yeah so here, here's the here's the thing. I guess because whether or not his eyeball was an issue. Yeah, it doesn't it's matter. It's not. Um, but going back to the footage, uh, I guess we're going to do this in reverse because that was a post credit scene um, that ties into that D twenty three footage that you were mentioning with Thor uh, splatting on the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy two ship. So um, the ending second, uh, the first post credit scene of Thor Ragnarok is Thor and Loki talking about going to Earth and, you know, making a new home for Asgard because it got destroyed. Spoiler alert. Um, so <laughs> Say it afterwards. We already know it's spoiler. We don't have to say it every time. Dude, Asgard is a people. It's not a... Asgard is it's a, not a place. People. Nobody cares. Okay, um, so anyway, the post credit scene is them two talking about starting a new home, whether Loki is going to be welcome to Earth because sort of he kind of tried to take it over in Avengers 1. Um, and then right at the end of that, a giant fucking ship shows up, which you, they don't tell you who that is, but inferring from that D23 footage, that is Thanos' ship. So I would think it's that or the Black Order, one or the other. N- yeah, it's, it's <clears> Thanos' <throat> ship. I mean, you can kind of connect the dots while it's not literally put out there for you specific 100%. It's it's almost a certain probability that it's going to be Thanos' ship. I think I think there was somewhere else I saw where like that did verify as Thanos' ship. There's another comic series or cartoon where yeah. like that was pretty, pretty much his ride. Yeah, and then that leads into that D23 footage you you started to talk about, which is uh, having Thor splat on the face of the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy two ship. So one can infer that Thanos' ship pretty much fucks the Asgardian ship up. What happens to Loki? What happens to all the Asgardians on there? Do they make it to Earth first? Do they transport with Heimdall? Who knows? But that incurrence of Thor and Thanos mating with the ships, that's not going to end well for them, and that's going to lead into Infinity War. So that's what that post credit scene was your, about. That's your assumption. 
<clears throat> what I mean. So here's the yeah. okay. So here was kind of the connection that we, uh, the group of people that I saw it with, were kind of debating and, and thought was a little weird. So at the end of oh, wait, which movie? It, oh, at the end of Doctor Strange, they yep. show him talking to Thor and filling up the glass and the whole thing, right? Trying to find Odin. Yes. Yeah. So I thought that was a little weird because that same exact scene was in Ragnarok. Literal frame for frame. Yeah. So, but the only frame of reference that I will mention is that in Ant Man, there's a scene for Civil Wars <clears throat> where wars singular just civil by the wars. grammatical. Yeah, Civil Wars. There's war. many wars in that Civil Wars. The title's singular. Civil War. Just saying. So anyway, there was a uh, Ant Ant Man. They're they're talking about bringing in somebody to help them, and they have you know, Bucky. Caught in a clamp. Mm-hmm. So, and that scene was verbatim. Like, it's the same exact scene. So, I guess there's precedent for it because I thought that was like kind of a cop out to have. Like, what was the point of Doctor Strange even being in that, that movie? Yep. I was going to say there's literal no point. You go a month out, you're going to say, oh, was Doctor Strange in the movie? Oh, that's right. He filled Thor's beer. I you know was, what really bothered it, me? I think it was fun to throw him in there. It gloves. was a quick transition. I liked it. Don't get me wrong, and that's I, I think that's the theme of the movie that that I really enjoyed the actors in the movie, but when you break it down, they were all kind of given a couple of good scenes to kind of chew on, and then that was like it. Like they just kind of like moved on to keep moving the plot forward. Like let's keep going, let's keep going, and that that kind of like hung with me after I saw it. I was like a little annoyed. The one thing I did like was because they did bring in Doctor Strange. They like we talked about earlier. You can now, all right. Who's stronger, Strange or Loki? You're starting to not see. not even remotely a question. But Strange, you didn't have that question yeah, leading into this. No, but it's a question. But you didn't have that going into this. I mean, at no other point did Strange and Loki meet. So now you just saw the two go against each other, and Loki thought, "I'm the biggest and best. I'm going to capture you." And Strange just said, "Nope, goodbye," and made I've him disappear. Been falling for thirty minutes. Yeah, That's guess fa- what? Strange is stronger than Loki, but that question is answered right there too, and and that goes to show you a little more about how strong Strange truly is. He's in clearly his, progressed. Too. He's progressed big time he's in his gotten. in his movie. He was still very much an amateur. You didn't like his gloves. The gloves are very much part of his costume. I know it's later part of the on. costume, but I just don't. I didn't but like them. That's that's one of those things where it's like, okay, we're now looking at Doctor Strange, who is the source of Supreme. He wasn't the source of Supreme at the end of his movie. It was we're without mm. the source of Supreme. He now is. Now no, I, he is. I agree with Scott. I think he was like he was getting to the he was like right there. He was right there, he was right but there. he wasn't like clearly now. He's like got it buttoned up. Like I know exactly what I'm doing. This seems like maybe a year or two removed from the because you don't and people complain about the timeline, which I think is just preposterous that they complain so much about the timeline. You can't. They don't really hook anything where you're saying like, oh my god, I know exactly when this thing happened. I True. kind of feel like they're all vaguely in the same timeline, and like, does it really matter to me like when Doctor Strange happened? I know it happened before Thor Ragnarok, but I don't know that it happened in between Spider Man or whatever. Well, Who time's cares? different too. I mean, the Hulk was the Hulk for two years, so, so they're saying two years. That's, yeah, that's, yeah, but that's the also definitive his thought. Yeah, but they're saying like, oh, two, so they're saying Civil Wars happened two years ago. Well, who, or no, not Civil War. That was um. Wasn't that the end of Civil War? Age of Ultron. No, no. Age, of, Age Ultron. of Ultron was the end okay, of that. Okay, fine. But even then, Grandmaster says time progresses differently here. On different it also, on different planets. It also, yeah. Everywhere you go, time's very different. Who's to say that as Guardians don't last as long as they do because time just lasts differently well, on Asgard as it does to on Odin Earth? Odin was like, oh, that happened like 50 million years ago. Well, yeah, Odin's been living for uh, God knows how ever long. Ever, I mean, even Thor. Thor has been alive for... That's another part that we're... Uh, at least I want to bring up the whole emotional weight of... Asgard being destroyed, and it was very played in a joking manner, especially with uh, the director slash uh, actor who played Korg, made a joke right at, as Ragnarok, the Take home. Take out Titi. Yeah, Titi. right as Thor's home for God knows how many thousands of years exploded, and they just make a joke of it, like it didn't really matter much, and that just Asgard is a people and not a place. No, if it was uh, just a people. Up there, bro. If it was just a people, they would have abandoned it. I don't know how many fights ago when the Frost Giants and all those other people that were trying to take over Asgard, they would have just been like, well, fuck it. We're just going to move then if it's not really that big of a place. We just care about our people. Well, That's no, bullshit. Now, now it's a realization that it's a people. It's always been, I mean, everyone's home <laughs> is their place. But once you can realize that your home is 
actually the people involved and not the house that you're in. It's a different state of mind. It's a state of growing. It's it's I mean, a I'll lesson say too, learned. It's it's them losing their leader, that, and then you know Thor is really reluctant to even be the king. Like he doesn't really want to be the king. I I think they I I, I agree with you that it's not as emotionally resonant, but I feel like they kind of hit the thing home. Like, oh, it's a place, not a or it's a people, not a place. Just like they did it with. Uh, I don't know the whole family thing and and what and family like matters gar, in, in like guardians. Yeah, it's definitely the strength is now on the people and not the place, and that's the lesson learned, and that's the lesson that they got there. It's not the home, it's not your castle, it's the people that you rule, it's the people that make your civilization. Not. But let's then let's building. go into what was like really good about it. Let's talk about well, okay, Hela's performance and some of the things that she sets up and changes about the MCU, which I thought. The way that they wrote her was pretty killer. I heard there was a lot of improvisation. Um, I thought she was pretty cool. I, I don't know if she was like the best villain they've ever had, uh, but she was kind of interesting. Not the best, but definitely a very good villain. Yeah, I thought she was cool. I did, I, I thought she uh, like had a pretty uh, interesting take on things, and I, I love when she goes through. She's walking through the armory, and she's like, "That's fake. That's interesting." And then she sees the Infinity Gauntlet, and she's like. Fake. Yeah, just every, knocks it. everything was just the Infinity Gauntlet fake. The the Frost Giant chasm or whatever that gas thing for the Frost Giants. That's that ain't Useless. jack shit. Yeah. Then she sees the test track. Oh, that's, that's interesting. interesting. And then moving on. So like, and it is kind of putting in like, yeah, Gauntlet's fake. Pff, now everyone complaining like, how can it be in two places? Fake. That answers that question. The yeah, Eternal that kind flame. of that that does at least bridge the gap into some people's concerns of a plot hole for the whole Infinity or the Marvel universe. With um, Thor, in the first Thor, you you're walking by into Odin's vault, you see uh, the Infinity Gauntlet, which is right-handed. Now, when you see at the end of I forget which movie it is, where Thanos is like, "Everyone's fucking up. I'm gonna handle shit myself." I think it's Age the end of Ultron. Of, I think it's the post-credit scenes of Age of Ultron where he puts on the glove and says, I'm just going to do shit myself, essentially. It's left-handed. So there was clearly a disconnect of, well, it was in Odin's vault, and it's right-handed, but then at the end of, it, uh, end of Infin- uh, Age of Ultron, <clears throat> it's left-handed, and it's in, Thor- uh, in Thanos' possession, rather. Well, Thanos likes to double fist, so. Then there's that. That's why he's purple. That's so why he's purple. <laughs> that being fake, and a lot of the things being fake in Odin's vault kind of shows to the grandiose nature of Asgardian people and Odin in general, um, which plays into the fact that uh, Hela was trying to disprove a lot of the stuff, um, you know, when she takes down the murals of all those peace treaties between the Frost Giants and everything. Which well, was showing and, that Odin was a liar. Yeah, I mean, he Odin's been alive for eons, and... In the first part of his life, he was he was kind of bloodthirsty and wanting to conquer everything. But that makes more sense when you talk about Asgardian culture being like a reference to Vikings. We talked about this. Like it it clearly, I I I really love the scene where she's like, because I I think Asgard looks ridiculous. It's just nonsense. Yeah. And it's got a rainbow road and all this stuff. And she calls it out. She says, "Where do you think all this gold came from?" Well, isn't that the old adage? Is half of history is rewriting it. Yeah, well, they uh, that was a good point because they totally pill like obviously they got all the gold from pillaging and you know Hela was his sword and she annihilated like you know the nine kingdoms and was stealing all this stuff from them and then he built Asgard up and then I guess he got you know second thoughts. The other interesting component that we were debating about last night uh, when we saw it was so I don't remember the name of uh, Odin's wife, but was Hela. The that was that her, her mother or was were they different because she goes she says to Loki at one point she, or she says to Thor um, you don't look very much like father and then then she also says something like um, she goes to Loki she goes oh you sound like him but she never mentions the mother she doesn't seem to care that she's already dead they have no they have no conversation about this so did Odin have a previous wife where he got Hela from. So, just for a side note, uh, it was played by Rene Russo uh, and Odin's wife in Thor The Dark World and Thor The Original uh, movie was Frigga, or Frigga, whichever Fri- you... Frigga? Frigga? Yeah, Frigga. F-R-I-G-G-A, however you want to pronounce Frigga. that shit. Um, so... All right, and yeah. um, according to Marvel.com, Marvel Universe, Father mm-hmm. Loki, Mother, and Groboda. You're talking about the comic books. Um... 
Okay, yeah. So You're this is just Hela this is Marvel. Is this is yeah, Marvel. I was gonna say what's what's interesting is in the movie, Hela is uh, Odin's son. In comic book lore, it's actually Loki's daughter, or not son. Hela's not a, a yeah. guy. Hela is the daughter of Odin in the movie. Thor she Ragnarok. was a man. In the actual comic lore and continuity, it is Loki's daughter. So that's a, a difference. Yeah, yeah. Uh, born ages ago to a being who one day would be called Loki. Well, somebody else had a question too. Like, if she's the goddess of death, is she the person that uh, Thanos is obsessed with impressing? Because supposedly Thanos, his entire motivation for everything that he does is to impress death but i don't think that they're the same character yeah that's in the comic book i don't know if they're following that same trajectory so in this either. movie it doesn't seem like they are also she doesn't really she i mean she was a she's a great actress first off um cape lanchette yeah that's kind of it seems like the theme of just marvel in general they hire these great actors and actresses to play these villains but the villains themselves are kind of shit but they're kind of lifted up into average Kind of. So you're I, saying the acting made them a little bit better? Uh, yeah, so I would say if, if they had shitty actors, Hella would have been terrible. Because yeah, if you useless. look at her as, as just take the actress out of it and you take the, the just the point of view, she served no purpose. She kind of came in. She, there, there's just no real point to her. They kind of downplayed the whole brother-sister bond, the they family did part that. of it. Yeah. There's just not a lot of part. There's, there's not a lot of meat to her as a character. But Kate Blanchett plays a very hammy, over the top version, and her acting prowess brings more life into the character than it really deserves, as just the writing gives it. Yeah, I would agree with that. I, I, I found, and that's the thing I think I had an issue with is I felt like every actor really had some great scenes, but beyond like those one or two scenes that they had, they literally had nothing else to do. Uh, I think a really good example of that was the Valkyrie character. I thought that girl was really good, and I think she maybe she becomes the next Thor. Like I have no idea. Like if they end up killing off Thor, but I thought she was really good and had a very unique character, a different take, and the whole drinking thing was kind of cool. She's like, I'm not giving up drinking. But then after they get like off of Sakaar, it's like she has literally no point. And she's just like, let's go. Or, Let's kill that guy. Like she has no line. She has nothing. There's You're talking about Valkyrie. Although that that yeah. outfit is hot. I like the Which Valkyrie one? outfit. The first one. Or the no, second the second one? one. The one that Thor finds and gives Which to her. She's dressed like a man. Yeah. 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 I, I like it. Like that. So yeah, I, the the whole but, point. By the way, Banner totally was looking over his shoulder at that as she was changing behind him. I yes. am sure he was. Yes. Dig, he was digging on her. That's a little bit of a love triangle. It, it looks like. Um, Thor, Valkyrie, Well, that was really and, weird, and too. I don't know if you guys Hulk, followed this, Bruce. which, I, the diversity thing, I don't know. It's just like there's some sort of like weird Hollywood consuming itself over diversity. But she had tweeted out, the actress, I don't know who she Tessa was. Thompson. Tessa Thompson had tweeted out that the Valkyrie ca- character was bisexual. And then she had to retract that because they're like, well, it's not really in the movie that she's biased. Because she's like, I'm playing the first bisexual character in all of the Marvel Universe. <laughs> and it's like, nobody cares. Like, I, and, and the thing, I guess, that just irks me about this, and I won't make a long-standing point about this, but you know, when I introduce myself to people, the first thing I think about is not my sexual identity. Whether I'm straight, gay, whatever it is, like, that's not who I am. I don't define myself by my sexual identity. Don't you, though? But for some reason, people have this thing in them where they have to like define themselves by that. And I just – I don't get it. Like it's, it doesn't matter. You're a person, whoever you love or care for. I don't care. Look, I don't care. General Why is it rule of thumb says if you don't go both ways, you miss out on 50% of the action. That's the that is the way you should live life. So that's what I don't get. Like why is it such a big deal that they go – like – why did she have to make that statement and then retract it? That's great. Whatever. She wanted. She was in a band of Valkyries that were all women, elite. Yeah, and she had a girlfriend. I don't care. And then she wants to go and she had a little bit of chemistry with Thor. Be my guest. Keep scissor going. action and Thor action, you know? It's, yeah. It's all, all and Thor one. drops the hammer. Maybe she hits a little scissor action, whatever you want. Get to do a little Thor X. Thor. Oh, Jesus. Uh, part of. <laughs> well, they can't all be singers, can they? Well, speaking of Valkyrie, I she was a great character. Um, I did enjoy her her take on it. Tessa Thompson played it great. She didn't really have much of a a, a true purpose. She was um, sassy. I, I would say more of a more of a plot device and a replacement for Sif. I don't know if it, do you, either yeah. of you guys oh, yeah. remember we Sif. Were, I was going to get to the point where like the Warriors three just get yeah. totally where was waste. she? 
She oh, she was on Earth, I guess. Yeah, she no, they up. don't even explain. No. They don't explain it. No, but she, she was on Earth with Agents of Shield. But she went back. She was in yes. one episode of Agents of Shield, then went back. Now the and, lo- the logical conclusion that you guys can make is obviously. Uh, the end of Dark World, Loki is posing as Odin, and then you see that in, in Ragnarok. Yeah. He probably banished her. Th- this isn't fact or anything, but this is just you know, logical you conclusion. She probably was maybe catching on to Odin being a little not Odin-y. Yes. So he probably banished her to some realm or some other thing. But in actuality, looking this up and, and knowing um, Jamie Alexander, who plays Sif, uh, her availability, she plays uh, Lily character in NBC's drama Blind Spot. So her availability was in, in contradiction to the filming of Thor. Dude, Ragnarok. she could have literally show up for one day. Th- you really think those guys had more than like one minute? I'm to be just on saying what time? I read. It was the same thing with Heimdall, <laughs> and and I'm glad they brought him back. Idris Elba was going to drop out of this completely unless yeah, what his was character that? was stronger. No, okay, so oh, he wanted this, his, okay. Idris Elba. Idris Elba. Idris, Idris Elba. Idris, 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 Idris Elba. Idris, Idris, He's whatever. too beautiful for you to fuck up his name. Idris Elba. Did not want to be involved in the next one because he didn't want to be such a small character, which Heimdall was. In the first two movies, he was just on the gatekeeper for seconds. Yeah. Uh, he wasn't interested in that anymore. He had a lot of bigger, better stuff going on in this Oh, one, yeah, like a dark tower. Yeah. That did real well, buddy. Yeah. Dude, I love no, Idris no, Elba. I'm talking but... about bigger, better stuff as in stuff for the BBC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah He's yeah. doing a ton of great Luther. stuff. Luther. Yeah. Um, but he didn't want to come back because it was such a small character. They turned around and made him one of the main uh, uh, heroes in this. He turned into this mm. character. Yeah, absolutely. He, I mean, was, he was just in there, as but big he wasn't like he was in there. It was just as big as Scourge, and it was because of him. He's the Scourge one who was saved. Pointless. He saved the entire Asgardian race. If it wasn't for him, they'd probably all be dead. And that's absolutely what he did. So they Locked put device. him there. They brought back him, which was fantastic. But he saw what was going on with Loki. The same thing could have easily happened with Sith, where she disappeared. She saw what was going on. The other Guardians three, you had the gnome looking dude and the dude. I just thought it was total bullshit that they they killed killed them them off for no reason. Here's the other problem you have: you're starting to work towards Infinity Wars, and how much is this going to cost? They're talking about one billion dollars for the two movies for Infinity Wars. I thought it was five hundred million. One per. Movie really one billion dollars. Infinity, <laughs> Infinity War is gonna suck. Everything. How many actors gonna? You gotta start killing off actors. You know, the Warriors three, they're gone. No more paycheck for them. Whatever. You gotta Dude, pay like, Robert Downey Jr. Those guys are making more than five dollars a movie. I'm putting my money down right now. Loki dies five. next. Loki's Loki. Not they're Loki's setting not him die. up to die. Helmsworth doesn't had, have a contract. He had his change the heart. He's now starting to turn into a hero- heroic figure. No, he's not. He's dead. Dude, he's a total dick. Even, even if they just ran into, they, they just ran into Thor. They specifically or, or, went out of their way yeah, in this movie to play in. Just, dick. Yeah, they just, they just ran into so, uh, Thanos. Thanos isn't really happy with Loki. I think mm. he's done. I think he's out. So here, here, I don't know if you guys picked up on this. When Loki was going to get the uh, Surtur's helmet, um, the guy from the beginning, the devil dude that's going to bring yeah, about yeah. Ragnarok... He walks by all the vault and he sees the Tesseract. Oh, he totally stole the Tesseract. He kind of, the while it doesn't show that he stole the Tesseract, it kind of, he takes a pause and looks at it, then keeps going. Now, I don't know if you paid attention. If They it, never show him keep going. They cut on him staring at it. Yeah. yeah he's kind of, he I think he stole So it's like a little un- unintentional hint or, or maybe just a, a, you know, something for the viewers that are really paying attention to pick up on. Um, but then they go, if you guys seen the D23 uh, Disney Infinity War footage, it shows uh, Loki and Thanos. He has that Tesseract. So logical leap would be Loki took the Tesseract and then he used it to barter with Thanos because he's a mischievous little fuck who only is looking out for himself. While He, he does, was about to barter with the Grandmaster. Yeah, while he does care about other people, his arc is pretty much done. Like He, he had his redemption arc, but it's not really a redemption arc. He's just a character that... He does care about people, but he's always going to be self-serving and looking out for himself, number right, one. Well, His we- arc is closed. There's nowhere else for the character to go. He's a fun character. He's probably the best overall MCU villain because he's the most developed. He's sort of an anti-hero, but there's really nowhere else for him to go. There's just his arc is done. All right, with yeah, no but growth. I think they have to kill one of the big guys. They There's no kill growth. Stark. They got to kill Thor. Yeah. With, or they with gotta that, kill with that info, or if I, maybe it won't be local. I still would not be surprised if they kill him off, but. Um, if it's not Loki, then it's Captain America. I think Hemsworth. Or Thor. Well, Helmsworth contract is up, and so is uh, Helmsworth. So it's one of the two of them. Hemsworth. Stark has said that he wants to 
like renego like he, I think he's done too. I think he's he's. He but even then, to- even if you take it out, Iron Man, you can do the Iron Lady. There are other variations of that as well. Yeah. No, you also I'll, talk dude, about Fal- know, they- Falcon has taken up the Captain America mantra before. I think that would be cool Falcon, if Anthony yeah. Mackie would get to be Captain America. Yeah, and he's in storyline saying that. But even then, talk about they, they've they branched off from the, the storyline in the first place, even just with Thor getting his hair cut, which, by the way, all right, cool. We're glad that Stan Lee was in another one of the movies. whoop de doo wah It's enough. Enough. Dude, he has to be in every he movie. He has to be in every movie. Yes. And I'm getting tired of it. But It doesn't I mean, matter. He has decent, to be in every It's a decent cameo. Movie. Is, is he a watcher? What what is he? And it's literally one, he just was, to put Stanley in the movie. Don't one, even pay attention to the continuity of his character. Yeah, it doesn't matter. That he just has. A, it, it, I think the funny thing is, is he's kind of like Homer Simpson. He's had a different job in every single movie. Yeah, and but like he's supposed to have the, a different job. The, like he tries the theater, to be a watcher. When he showed up in the theater on opening night, everyone cheered. It yeah, like, oh. dude, why not? Dude, the guy's not going to be around that much longer. So uh, really, least... I think I think he's like Mick Jagger. I think he's just going to fucking live dude, he's forever. Way older than Mick Jagger. He's, he's like twenty he's... years, twenty five years older. Yeah, than and Mick he's Jagger. still just going to live forever. Dude, and his wife just—he's kind of now. around Hugh Hefner. He's he's getting towards the end. Yeah, he's getting toward. Dude, he's if he's got one or two years left, I'd be shocked. I love Stanley, but come on already, dude. Let him film as many cameos as the man wants to do. Because... Yeah, I mean they're just they're literally just for fun. That's he's a good their... man, Stanley. I love you. You're awesome, but yeah, don't rip Stanley. Come on, come on. Yeah. He's an old guy. He can't fight back. But in, in terms <laughs> of, I, I know you guys brought up the the Warriors three. Um, a little while ago, before we kind of branched off into a different topic, those those were decent characters, especially in the Thor movies, Thor Weird. one and two. Um, they have uh, Fandral, Hogan, and Volstag, um, two notable actors that play it. Um, is they that replay. Re- in fact, they're so not notable that you didn't even realize that they replaced the one guy from Thor one to Thor two, and you wouldn't even know the difference. I, I clearly knew the difference because the the one from Thor one, I don't remember his name, and yes, I'm too lazy to look it up important. right now. He got replaced because he is one of the main actors on Once Upon a Time on ABC, and they replaced him with Zachary Levi, who is a much better actor. Um, he was in the Chuck series, so I do like Zachary Levi better. But is he, he got Chuck? replaced. Zachary Levi is the lead. He is literally Chuck. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm he's actually Chuck. Yeah. Which is a much better show than Once Upon a Time. You are so gay. Yeah, Fuck those off, are the Scott. worst. Uh, I can't, I'm having a I can't believe you referenced those. Eat a dick. So, anyway. Those are the worst shows. I would never watch Once Upon a Time. And what was it? Chuck? Is Chuck? Chuck, Chuck is a great show. Still on? No, it's not. It got canceled like six years ago. Yeah, that's the point. Five seasons. It, you watch, These are shows that are on like what? CBS, ABC, NBC? NBC yeah, mainstay st- oh, stations. Oh, dude. What do you have? Bunny ears on your TV? Take a, and you have to actually like, oh, look, I can see Chuck now. He's in season. Oh, I dropped my 3D glasses. Well, Don't bend over. Both of you can take a dick in the ass. Anyway, <laughs> so the Warriors uh, 3. Uh, oh, so what? We're going to go watch Dragon Ball Z now? That was better than Thor. That one, the last episode that I watched yeah, this Saturday yeah, yeah. on Dragon Ball Z, episode thirty-nine, where oh Goku my God, and even hit three D glasses, it still looked like a douche. <laughs> <laughs> so why are we still talking about the Warriors three? Can we go to the next part? I'm Whatever. The Warriors the three were a three. decent part in the in the first two Thor movies. They just kind of get fucking just, just <laughs> destroyed. Yeah, again, I thought it was a, a kind of like a crap cameo, but that's all right. Well, I definitely well. like. I, in and, fact, and I like at least, Skirt. At least now you know what happened to him. Yeah. I like Scourge's cameo uh, or Scourge's part where he's there with two hot chicks. I like that cameo better with the two hot chicks and all his like he had like a scooter. That for was some that was fun. Did Carl Urban bulk up, bulk up for that or is that just the costume? You know a what's lot of weird? It, it looked he, like his neck was bigger. Yeah, but he looked just like uh, he was in Riddick and it's almost the same exact. Carl character. Urban yeah. was in Riddick. Yeah, he was. Don't remember him in Riddick. Is he's he, a great actor. He's one of the most underappreciated actors ever. Dude, but he's, he's awesome in Judge he's fanta- Dredd. He's fantastic. Yeah. In Dredd. I mean, I even liked him in Dredd. Doom. And he's Doom in Star was Trek. A horrible movie, but I like Carl. He's Urban great in it. Star Trek. But yeah. Yeah. He's, you know. he's a fantastic actor. I yeah. love that guy. Yeah, I agree. He's but British and he's beautiful, and like, that's he's got the two Bs. They British gave and beautiful. Him kind of a you know. Yes, Vako. He was in the uh, in Riddick. He was Vako. He was the second to the uh, the big bad guy. Thandy Newton okay. was so in he was it. Remember, he usually yeah. does play he bad was, guy. His girlfriend was Thandy Newton, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I sure. Have, whatever. Okay, so let's talk about an Easter egg that I thought was really uh, awesome. So there's a funny part where it's a play. It, it's a uh, you know, movie within a movie, play within a within a play. Mm-hmm. There's a part where they're talking about 
uh, how Loki sacrificed himself for to help Thor and, and Odin and in Thor the play. Dark World. Yeah, they're, they're they're redoing Thor the Dark World, and they have uh, some very special actors doing the play, and I, I thought it was hysterical because they had uh, Matt Damon playing Loki. I didn't even realize it was him. Completely went past me. Well, they were saying it was going to be uncredited, but uh, I didn't catch it in the credits. According to IMDb, watching. it's still uncredited. It definitely was him, 100%. And uh, Sam Neill played Odin, which is awesome, from you know Jurassic Park. And then Luke Helmsworth, or is it Hemsworth? It's Hemsworth. Hemsworth, not Helmsworth. There's no fucking L in there. It's just Hemsworth. Hemsworth. You've been saying it wrong this entire time. Hemsworth. Well, I'll keep saying it wrong. So anyway, Luke Hemsworth, the older brother of the Hemsworths, from Liam to who was actually in Westworld. He's actually he actually got into the mainstream acting. He was in Westworld. He was in Westworld. Yep. Luke Hemsworth. Luke West. Uh, yep, he was in Hemsworth. He was, was the his... main. He was the main dude. No, he wasn't. What was his? I'm name? looking at Wikipedia right now, motherfucker. What's his character's name? That doesn't that doesn't tell me, but I'll I'll look that up. There's no way he was the main dude because I watched that and you did. So wait, there's three there's three Hemsworths. There yeah, was the younger three. brother too, right? Yeah, Liam, the one Liam. who's dating uh, Miley Cyrus. Oh my yeah, god, she fell off. But Ooh, you know. I don't know if I could deal with that. Dude, like, the there's ma- got to be something wrong with you if you're the dating. Ma- the male race should just set, give up right now. If you're comparing yourself to that <sighs> entire family, just give up on life. Dude, he was Ashley Stubbs in Westworld. He was in every episode. Ashley Stubbs. I don't know who that is because I didn't watch Westworld. But I have to watch it again. I I don't remember him being in it. Yeah. But cool. Uh, I I did watch all of it. So, and funny thing is, uh, Anthony Hopkins is in Westworld too. Yeah. They've, so they credited Luke Hemsworth, Sam Neill, and Charlotte Nakata, who was actor Sith. They all got credited. But if you go down to the uncredited section, you have Matt Matt Damon is Matt Damon. uncredited as Loki as Loki actor, which I, I thought it was awesome. That was a great scene. That was pretty hysterical. And uh, to see uh, Sir Anthony Hopkins do some comedic acting, pretty rare to see that. So that was pretty yeah, funny he's, too. He's a funny dude if he, he has the opportunity. <laughs> when was the last time still, he was still doing laugh anything comedic? Thor shows up and he's like, "Oh shit." <laughs> Yeah, that was that was awesome. He's like, oh shit, <laughs> Loki, too funny. Uh, that was a great scene. Um, again, yeah, the whole Bruce Banner thing. We could go like he. You know, I, I th- really thought he was going to be. There was not enough Hulk in this movie, and not enough. Uh, that Banner. that was another thing. There was a Planet Hulk was another inspiration for this movie. So there was Thor. It was called Thor Ragnarok. Ragnarok really didn't play that much of an important role. It was kind of very in the beginning with Surtur and the comedic kind of lines. Then they throw it away. Then they have a Planet Hulk mid-plot. And then they end with, oh, you know what? Ragnarok isn't an actual thing. Let's actually bring about Ragnarok, destroy Asgard to defeat Hela. You know, Ragnarok, I don't know why they called it Ragnarok because it didn't play that major of a part. Planet it had Hulk. A, you just said it had to do with the, be- the beginning was, and, the the and the end. But then they the, whole middle, the whole middle had nothing to do with it. And Ragnarok is an actual thing in North mis- Norse mythology. The yeah. echo is still killing me in my headphones. You know that? Okay. In Norse mythology, Ragnarok is still a huge thing. I, I, we were talking about last episode. They were super true to actual North mi- mythology. The characters, their names, the storylines. Aside from... Hela being the daughter of Loki, which we're now figuring out online. That's kind of weird. But everything else, Ragnarok and Hela and, and, and what was the, the devil guy's name? Surtur. Surtur. All, Voiced by Clancy Brown. Yes. All very authentic to actual North mythology, which I think is also a really cool you know bonus with this movie where I, I love the old mythology stuff like that, North and, and everything else. I thought it was really cool that it tied in. It was actually that true to the old stories. I'm just saying, the movie opened with Thor locked up by Surtur, and then they just, he gradually mentions and, and just inconsequentially mentions, oh, Ragnarok, I'm going to destroy your home. Then he's like, but that's why he left. Yeah. He's explaining then, that's why he left. And then the he's Avengers. just like, oh, you know, I just got, yeah, because he was having recurring dreams of, of, of Asgard's destruction. Yeah. And it was Surtur trying to destroy and bring about the end of Asgard, which is Ragnarok. But he's just like, oh, you know, if my helmet reaches the internal flame, which is in the, uh, Odin's vault. Um, that's how Ragnarok will be brought about. And he's just like, oh, so I just need to take your helmet and then just takes it. 
And then once he takes it, that whole subplot is done. So then, he whoops that guy's ass. And then yeah. he puts it in the vault where Loki's able to put it in the flame. And then just plot point device, they're like, oh, how do we destroy Hela? Oh, you know what? You know that thing I brought in the beginning of the movie called uh, with, with Ragnarok, the, the movie's title? Why don't we grab that, bring him back, and he becomes really big, destroys Asgard because Hela draws her power, draws her power from, from Asgard. Asgard. Is Hela the only character that draws power from Asgard? No, Thor draws Thor power from Asgard. Too. Loki draws power from Asgard. Yeah, they, they, they all, all draw too. power from they Asgard. They all draw power from Asgard. So yeah. I guess they're not as... So, I don't know. Yeah, I know, I know. I, and I also, that. Hela, as just a, as a, uh, just a side note, what was her purpose in the movie? She comes in, she, she wants, wants to fuck to shit up. She wants to expand beyond the nine realms. Yeah, but real in the movie, what does she do? She comes in... I think she's too she goes focused to, on subjugating Asgard. She yeah, should have spent more time that's what like I mean. trying to... She ha, who gives a who, shit? Yeah, who, I know. I, I, yeah, I get it. I get it. She I, came in, killed a bunch of people, was like, oh, Scourge, you're my executioner. Okay. Oh, and then she I draw try, power from and Asgard. And she tries to expand Asgard, but Does the she? sword is gone. She can't. The it sword's gone. She can't go anywhere, which mm. I think is a little lame. Heimdall, she's Heimdall like, stole the sword, and she couldn't go anywhere. Because she's supposed to be pretty damn po- you know, powerful, and she's like, well, I guess I can't go... Well, I guess if you think about the rest of the universe, because, like, it's weird, because Asgard's, like, this weird magical thing, and then you've got, like, you know, the the whole Guardians of the Galaxy space thing and all that other stuff. If you don't have a spaceship, apparently you're not getting anywhere in the universe, unless you've got a magical rainbow road with, uh, you know, a sword that turns and teleports you places, and you're like... The, te- the Tesseract the was able to t- the Tesseract yes, the could get you places. There were other little ways Loki used them, and they, they showed them. But so, but teleporting. I, I don't gu- think I guess teleporting, as we're saying, is more difficult. And I don't think she was taking a whole army that way. I don't think she was going to take the whole army that she way. She could take him through the Bifrost. That's she what she was trying to. to do. She wanted yeah. to, but the sword was gone. That when they showed the Tesseract transported Loki and Thor, and that's it. I don't know about using that to transport an entire army. And well, I think that was her goal. The Red Skull. She needed the uh, ar- the the Bifrost to transport an entire army. Yeah, I I I, don't, I get it. The I, army I was think- underneath of. Asgard, so I don't... You mean the army of the dead? Yeah. And her little yeah. like, wolf guy. It basically, it was to funny. Transport. Somebody was yeah. sitting next to me and they were like, oh, it's Game of Thrones. We have a dire wolf and the army of the dead. And, that was a cool wolf. It looked like Jacob from Twilight. You know how I know you're gay? Because I like Twilight. <laughs> Are you team Jacob then? Absolutely team Jacob. But she Jacob. said that. The, 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 He's our, very our, tan. His hair is magnificent. Our warriors used Isn't to be buried hairless? under the temple like heroes. Yeah, the Army of the Dead was down there because in the covered up history of Asgard, our fallen were treated like heroes and buried under this very temple. Yeah, they don't talk about Valhalla too much either. They, they don't mention it they at me- all. No, it's mentioned. Is in this it, movie? I remember them I don't mentioning think it Valhalla. It's mentioned in the movie. It's mentioned I, in Thor 1 and 2. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think in this one. Yeah, I don't know. Oh. Okay. Hmm. I well, still, I, there's a main point that I want to bring up, and I, and I brought this up in our, our non-spoiler episode, was the emotional weight of the movie. So this movie really goes for the jokes, really goes for the gags, and I think at the expense of the emotional weight at moments. So there's really no true emotional weight. And I think there's three distinct parts, three distinct parts of the movie that should have emotional weight. One, Odin dying, or supposedly dying, disappearing, going into dust, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Then there's two, Hulk deciding to turn into, or Bruce Banner deciding to turn into the Hulk one last time when he notes in the movie, I don't know if I turn into him again, that I can turn back into Bruce. I may okay. lose him forever. He may lose himself forever. Yeah. And then the third one, Asgard blowing up, which is the home for Thor, Odin, everybody for who knows how many thousands of years. It was kind of a joke. Yeah. And... Only one of those three was taken seriously, and that was Odin's well, let's fairy break that dust. Down too, because yeah. here's one thing that you know. I know I praise Marvel for putting in new act, uh, not new actors, but new directors. But clearly, um, I know for a fact that that whole scene where she destroys um, Mjolnir is uh, reshoots. There are definitely shots out there of her doing it in New York City. And then when they're showing Odin and he's overlooking the cliff, clearly that's a stand-in. And I thought it was just really poorly done. And uh, I, I think that if there's anything, hopefully they learn from this a little bit. Like There was a couple of scenes that I thought as a director 
were really kind of messed up. Um, towards the end, too, when the giant lightning bolt hits down, like the biggest lightning bolt you've ever seen, there's some jarringly bad CGI in that. And um, of her falling down to the ground, yeah, or and like her holding him, and it's clearly like really bad green screen work. I don't know what was going on there, but again, you know, they're doing reshoots and they have Odin, and it looks like they just stuffed an old lady in a big jacket, and they're like, oh, this is Odin, you know, his back is to them, and it's like. I mean, they could, they had to do better than that. Like, I expect better than that, and that really kind of like irked me because it pulled me out of the movie, and I was like, "Well, there's your shitty reshoot." There are some times where you actually have to make that judgment call, though. You have a budget; you're talking about millions of billions of dollars. Dude, Sometimes the they just have to be... say, "You know what? We just I've never seen. We're mistakes. not given. We're not given the money to do have this." Have you ever seen mistakes that bad in a Marvel movie, though? You yeah. saw it twice. Yeah. That bad? The stand-in part? The entirety of Thor 2. Oh, man. I'm talking about, like, I'm literally, like, just moments in movies. I I don't know. I'd have to go back and watch all of them. But, I mean, they all have it. All movies have it. They have those little things where those jarring standouts. To me, that was a rookie director Her Her falling down after being hit by the... What, she didn't really get hit by the biggest lightning bolt of all time. It kind of hit her and she got blasted off to the side. I mean, he literally did say in the movie, I think the lightning bolt of all lightning bolts or something. Yeah, shit yeah. Like but, that. but I'm yeah. just saying the and actual just, effects themselves yeah, were that, so bad that it pulled me out of the movie where I was like, wow, that was some sh- really shitty CGI yeah. there. Well, what, well, you but guys, you're also talking about that a movie. That Rainbow Road. That movie, Dude, that movie why did they was, fight on the Rainbow Road? N- that movie was places. 900% CGI. Yeah, this isn't Mario Kart. I know, but seriously, why are they fighting? Like, you're fighting a wolf. On the Rainbow Road with the Hulk, like it, you could have fought him anywhere else other than the goddamn Rainbow Road. Like, come on. They did. They took him down to the water. I, well, I'm gonna go take a tinkle. You guys continue. I just it, it doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. <laughs> really? Yeah. We're gonna have a live. You should have taken a microphone with you if you're gonna do that. No, we don't need to hear. We that. need a roving mic. The ba- we need a bathroom microphone. What else? Actually, were... no, that's illegal. I got in trouble for that a long time ago. Yeah, that's a bad idea. <laughs> I'm trying to think what. So I I thought though that the the cameos and the jokes were were really good. I I, I did really. There's the one gag that I think is hilarious. The uh, everybody's been talking about it. The uh, play dead is it play dead? Yeah. Play dead. Play dead was a great gag, and you almost miss it at the end when they're on the rainbow world. Rainbow Road, Mario Kart Rainbow Road. Yeah. And Loki looks just looks over and says, I'm not doing play dead. And yeah. it happens so fast that it, it, you can easily miss it. But the play dead gag was fantastic. The part I laughed my ass off at, and because they showed it in the trailer, or when when Thor arrives and Loki goes, Yes! You're thinking in the trailer that Loki's now happy because the Hulk showed up. Forgetting the fact that there was that background, but you're thinking the Hulk's there, they're all friends, they're saving each other, that's awesome. But when it actually happens, and Hulk grabs Thor and slams him down to the ground a couple times, and Loki screams, that's what it feels like. I I about lost it at that one because I wasn't expecting that at all. They did that really good when the trailer gave away a lot, but it actually didn't because the joke was very different. And I, I, I thought that was hilarious. I, I thought they did a good job in that whole scene. I, I thought actually there should have been more Gladiator stuff. Uh, you know, I, I thought that... It, it was it was cool. There was a lot of call, callbacks to the Avengers movies, which I thought was really funny. You know, like uh, and the whole. Um, I really do think that uh, Hemsworth held his held held his own as a comedic actor, which I was surprised to see. Like he really held himself up because, like, from what I understand, a lot of it was improvised. A lot of what they were doing and saying was... And he did. He, he brought a lot into this. His his like, opinion oh, was absolutely listened to here. She's like, you're not hidden. He's like, oh, I'm hidden now yeah. when I cover my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and, there was, and there was some great comedic parts in that, and I enjoyed all of them. You know what we found out after you left? We could fully do the show without you. Really? Because it's less funny without me. No, yeah. I... Uh, it's definitely more obese because there's my skinniness outweighing your... Hey, social media world. Go on Twitter.com Why are your nipples and Instagram and our YouTube. Oh Let us know. Let's start a poll. Do we really need Noob Noob? Or is Scott Actually, obese? the fact <laughs> that he's been grabbing my nipples the whole time. Okay, they're, we Seriously, keep you honestly, around. guys, they're really hard all the time. They it's are. fantastic. Yeah, I really want to see your, hard. your actual no, nipple to tit ratio. Hashtag, hashtag hard nipples. Hard nipples. Hashtag, hashtag, hashtag hard nipples. nipples. Yeah. 
Um, I don't know what you guys were talking about while I was gone. Probably useless information. Um, or, or did, we, did we talk about the emotional weight of the, the two? Any no, of the we stuff? don't no, care no, about we, your we, emotional nobody weight. Covered one of, we covered the, Wh- which the one? Odin one. The Odin one? Okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so it's boring. The uh, one, what's yeah, the other one? Emot- the see, the one was we Bruce Banner turning into the Hulk for one last time, and then they literally played that moment. He jumps out saying, oh, I'm going to take care of that. They play it for a comedic moment, and he just falls into the fucking rainbow road and so smashes funny. his <laughs> face. It was the most. That pre- was hilarious. It was it was funny, but it was the most predictable Wiley e. Coyote. He's gonna fuck shit and up. And you learned a couple things. One, it reinstates the fact that the Hulk is pretty much immortal. As much damage happens to Bruce Banner, Hulk will transform and will heal and be fine. That is actually one of Hulk's powers that's not talked about. I thought that was kind of a he waste. He has t- a healing power. That's true. There was a, a waste though that well. he should have like. He's fighting this like big wolf thing or whatever, and they're fighting. Like I just thought, like they could have done more with that, and they just didn't. You also had a couple major battles going on there. Yeah, they could have showed him healing after the bite wound. It does show that Hulk is vulnerable, but yeah, he is also pretty much a, a, a healing Thor. factor that's greater than any other. Yeah, that's uh, that's the other character thing. out there. Uh, Thor and Hulk fight each other in the the Gladiator Arena, which is part of the Planet Hulk saga. Um, comic book storyline and there's an animated movie that's really good for Planet Hulk as well um, he kind of gets his ass kicked like Thor is is strong he's a god obviously the god of thunder but <clears throat> Hulk is supposed to be one of the most absolute strongest beings in, in in the cosmos and his anger the more and more he takes the angrier he gets the stronger he gets they didn't really showcase that at all he kind of just I don't gets... think he had a, had a chance to get angry because I think he was a little torn I know they didn't show it till later, but I think he was definitely a little torn. There's a couple Hulk storylines that you're bouncing around with here. Yeah, the angrier he gets, the stronger he gets. But the more he becomes aware of himself, he now had a voice. Which, the first movie, I didn't really like the voice. The second movie, it was fine. I had no problem with it. About the he Avengers. didn't really have a voice. He just said Hulk smash. No, no, his voice in this movie. When he spoke in this movie. Did you watch this, this movie? This was the, the first Hulk one he spoke. spoke in. Yes, he had a voice. The first time, yeah. I thought it was kind of, eh. He didn't have a voice in the other ones. No, he didn't have a voice in the other ones. So what are you talking about? But in this movie, the first time I watched it, remember I saw the movie twice. The first time I watched it, I heard his voice and I was like, eh, it's kind of chintzy. I don't really like it. The second time I watched it, it, I got past it real fast and I was fine with how his voice sounded. I also didn't like um, the the rock creature's voice the first time I watched it. The second time I watched it, I thought it was great. It's just one of those movies. But it's supposed you, to throw you off. The more, the more, you, yeah. The more top. you watch it, there's things that you hate, and there's things that you don't hate, and I think it gets better every time. Because that's a throwback to to Thor two. Yeah, but in in multiple Hulk storylines, there's a Hulk storyline where he freely goes back and forth from Banner to Hulk and back and forth. Um, it's actually one of the Avengers uh, cartoons on Netflix. Um, Avengers, eh, Ultimate, whatever. Sure. But he goes back and forth freely. When he needs Banner's brains, he becomes Banner. When they need Hulk's strength, he becomes Hulk. And the two creatures have made peace with each other. This could easily be the beginning of that, where they are able to go back and forth from Hulk to Banner and say, we need brains here, Banner pops up, we need muscle. From what I've read, though, the the, the story arc for the Hulk is uh, a three-movie story arc. And it's going to go over the next two Avengers movies where there's a separation between Hulk and Banner. Yeah, it's starting with this one, ending yeah. in the final Infinity Wars. But, and, it's a three-movie arc for the Hulk. And, yeah. uh, and along that that thought process where the anger Hulk get, the stronger he gets, the more cognitive he becomes, he kind of starts to lose that whole the angrier the stronger. He, he doesn't become just this unstoppable force. there's like force. five versions of the Hulk. That's, so yeah, that's the other thing when you go yeah, with, too. if you want to and go into deep comic book there's lore, there's... Gray Hulk and, and yeah, all yeah, this exactly. other... Red Hulk. Hulk. There's, there's Hulk. a whole bunch of color fucking if, Hulk. If you're going to take it, take this story for what Hulk. it is. You really, you really do. You, need to take, Hulk. you really need to take this Hulk Marvel Dick. series, these Marvel movies, Hulk Dick, we'll talk about that in a minute. You got to take this Marvel series and just take it as its own storyline. Separate it from the comics. Separate it from the cartoons. This is just another yeah. adage of a, a great story. I dig it. I, I get what you're saying. I think the most important point that you just make that made there was uh, Hulk Dick. We have to talk about the Hulk Dong. The Hulk Dick. There Hulk was Dick. Uh, Hulk Dong. There was th- Chris Hemsworth shirtless, and then Hulk Dick in a spa getting up, and they don't Hulk, show wait, the Hulk Dick. Hulk but in a the Hulk, Hulk in a hot Dick tub. was there. Hulk in a hot tub. Hulk in a hot tub. And uh, according to Chris. Hemsworth's remarks about the Hulk Dong—it's, it's impressive. 
Yeah, I would imagine. Well, so. I, I, I don't know if he said it was impressive, but just like, oh, that's burning the memory now. Like, it's either impressive or no, scary. It's clearly it could impressive. have like a horn on it. Like, <laughs> it could be anything. It could have its own mouth. It could look like the, the worm from Tremors. You'd have no idea. The, but he just said, oh, I don't never want to see they that. They should have just went full Watchmen and showed the dick. But, I'd have been okay with some green dick in my life. It, a, it I've, seen blue, dick. You were, you, you I've seen blue dick. I've seen blue dick. Why not green dick or red dick? Why? Red? I don't. Why not? You, no, no, you don't, you don't want to see red dick. It's infected. It's disgusting. It, it's uh, rainbow of dicks. Don't want to really live that what one I'm again. Looking for in my life. <laughs> we did have this this ridiculous. Uh, I have a new idea for a movie, and you're starring in it. It's called Rainbow of Dicks. Uh, Is it you every, fill in the plot line. <laughs> fill, director, director of Rainbow of Dicks. <laughs> Rainbow Dick, starring uh, Noob Noob. Starring Tommy B. Taking Noob more Noob. than he ever has before. We were having a ridiculous... I don't even... Do we even want to get into this debate, the the Watchmen versus Hulk Dong debate? I don't really think... I, uh, do you really need to have a debate? This is not an appropriate what's, place what's, for what's that What's the debate for it? We had it over... What's the uh, argument? We had it over text, like... Would you rather have uh, multiple uh, Dr. Manhattans because he can make multiples of himself? Or would you just go with one hard Hulk dong? I, I see this ridiculous. One, yeah. dong, just, one Hulk I just dong as much dicks as apart. possible. Multiple versus, Manhattan dongs would also rip And then Manhattan apart. is all intelligence. Hulk is all power. So green versus blue, intelligence versus power. There's a whole lot of deep dives we can go into. But we're just talking about his dick. Yeah, no, dicks can no, be extrapolated. No, but you also think about how he uses You can extrapolate that. a dick into some very consequential and intellectual conversation, Scott. Yeah. It's Just because true. your nipples are too hard to think straight doesn't mean dicks can't mean intelligence. Uh, uh, all right, we're done with the Don conversation. <laughs> Let's. We need to do a whole new episode. Let's talk about... Uh, Orc you, the dick review. Uh, no. Dick we, you. The dickening. Dick you. Snarfs the dickening. The dickening. I can't wait till Snarfs comes out. Yes. That's not a movie. <laughs> snarfs. <laughs> snarfs. 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 Snape, Snape. Let's, uh, t- uh, Thundercats. Uh, let's talk about um, Dick You, the the Grandmaster and Jeff uh, the Collector. It's basically Jeff Goldblum with makeup. Yeah, but Love no, them. I actually thought he was really good because he wasn't. I just saw him in that stupid Independence Day two. He was movie. Jeff Goldblum in makeup. And yeah, no, and was, what's wrong with that? Yeah, Nothing. He was good. Nothing. I thought he was good. I thought he was funny. He was a yeah. little much though. He starts off strong, and by the end of the movie, you're just kind of like. It's cool. You're Jeff Goldblum. I get it. Like, you're good. No, I thought he was... I he thought he served was really no purpose. Good. He had a melting stick. That was cool. Although, that was another fucking thing. Like, his cousin... I forget what his name was. Coral or Carl. Oh, the or, guy he melted? Yeah, yeah, he melted him. That was supposedly his cousin. Oh, that's that was disgusting. A, that was a death. And they're just like, no, nah, okay, this guy did. Died. Who, who, who gives so a shit? So did Doug. Doug died, too. Doug? Oh, there's a lot of Doug. Doug died. He died. They had the... All right, the, new Doug. The, 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 the Warriors, the Warriors 3 just died. Yeah, right, pe- people die. It happens. Right, Get new over it. Doug. Oh, what a bummer, new Doug. <laughs> Hello, new Doug. Are we still doing voices now? We're going to start doing that? No? Uh-huh. Yeah, no, we're still we doing, doing voices. We're still doing voices? Come on, we're doing the voices. Beginning, middle, oh, and I do all sorts of voices while we're doing the show. You didn't even realize it. <laughs> oh, boy. That's because we don't listen to you. <laughs> Protagonist, antagonist? Nope. Oh, little antagonist. You're going to have that to your book right now. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> this is getting off the rails. Um, yeah, we're we're starting to lose our grip. Going off here. the rails. Was there Jesus anything else Christ. we needed to cover? We talked. I think we covered. Uh, I like the uh, the color palette, even though they made fun of it in the movie. He's like, it's red, it's white. Can't we just make up to make a decision? <laughs> make up your mind. Make up your mind. Yeah, I, I I guess if I just want to bring everything together, I did really enjoy the movie. I, I'm not it's saying good comedy. It, I'm not saying it's a bad movie in any way. I just don't think that it holds up long term. I would say seeing the movie, you're enjoying it, you're in the moment. There's a lot of things when you think about it that it's just serving a greater plot for Infinity War, and that in the grand scheme of things, nothing really gets accomplished. But there wasn't even an Infinity Stone in it. I mean, there, there wasn't, but it was setting up the whole post credit scene with meeting Thanos and then going into yeah, that. You know, I don't know. That, I, I, I think you're There wasn't a lot that. of emotional was, weight to no, it. But no you, one, there's nothing but that you But it's a comedy. So uh, that's what I'm, I'm debating is, do I just treat it as a comedy because it glossed over? Like, there was clearly scenes where they're like, 
oh, you go kick this guy's ass, and like you go, like you don't even see. Yeah, is this like an action comedy or is this a serious movie? It's not a serious movie at all. It doesn't take itself seriously. No, but it's a great way to tie the two movies together. Avengers was getting really dark. You had Civil War, which there was nothing comic about that. Guardians of the Galaxy had a good tie between. I don't think there's Spider Man. Spider Man. Yeah, Spider Man was the only thing. I actually still, I still haven't seen Spider Man. Spoil it if you want, but it's no big deal. I I dropped the ball. I'm sorry. I'll do penance. Give me a shot of abs. Oh wait, how'd that work for you? So it's a comedy. It's fun. It's it's the colors are a lot brighter. It's more majestic. It's just it's just a glorious, fun movie. It's also allowing now the Guardians of the Galaxies to tie in with the Avengers, which you need to do for Infinity Wars. So when it comes to tying the whole thing together, I think it was it was perfect. They did exactly what they needed to. They brought in the comical aspect. They brought in the colors. They brought in space more into the Avengers. And the Avengers was just getting real dark and monotone and was just starting to lose its way. With this, you can now bring it back and just tie it all together. And I think it's going to be great. The what fact- was funnier, Spider-Man or this movie? What was what? Funnier. Funnier? Thor. Thor. Thor yeah, I funnier. think this. It, I think if I now looking back, like if I treat this like this was just a comedy. Oh yeah, if you treat it was it like a, a superhero comedy, comedy. I think it's just a comedy, and but, that's what Thor is. And, but we're expecting. Uh, I think we're some emotional weight, like Asgard, his home for thousands of years gets destroyed, and they use a joke. But it's also Asgard. But that's Ten the lesson. That's the lesson to learn. It's the people, not the place. If it was the people, not the place, they would have abandoned it. Thousands of years ago, like with you, the fights of the frost giants, they didn't learn and that lesson. Others. They didn't learn that lesson before. They just learned the lesson. So, that's the their new so the eons of existence of because Asgard. Because Odin was there. Yeah. Once Odin was gone, it changed things. Ah, it's a load of it's shit. It's a lesson learned. You do, do you learn everything the first day you're born? No, it takes time. You learn today. You don't like absinthe, but you love bananas. It, <laughs> it takes time to learn things. Why don't you give me a sugar cube, This is where they bitch. just learned it. Sugar oh, cube? we forgot about sugar cubes. Oh, the sugar cubes are downstairs. No more sugar cubes for you. Uh, I'm just going to get your nipples then. Oh my God. Sugar. Why are my nipples? Because you keep playing with them. That's why nipples are always hard. Mm. Get out of my beard. Mm. Uh, well, all right. I think get we've, out of my we've beard. Uh, rocked Macaco, uh, Ragnarok, uh, for long enough. Is there anything else anybody else wanted to talk about with Ragnarok specifically? Anything Dragon Ball Z was better. Oh my God. Dragon you Ball were so Z. gay. So dumb. What okay, a waste. Okay. So dumb. Maybe one day we'll actually do a Dragon Ball review where we'll just let you talk. We will do it. Me and Z will go to the bar and you can talk about I don't give a shit. Dragon it's better Balls. than most Dragon of the shit we're going to talk about. Justice League will also be better than Thor Ragnarok Justice League in two There's weeks. No so bad. way it's going to be better. But It'll we'll be debate better. that. We'll talk about it and we'll have this argument again Shit's later. Shit's going to get heated. Anybody uh, uh, have anything we'll they want to plug? Or... Yeah. Oh yeah, you could watch this episode definitely on YouTube. We're going to have uh, the spoiler and the non-spoiler episode, yes, on yes, YouTube. Yes, it'll be on YouTube. By now, you've been on YouTube, been able to watch the first episode on YouTube. We have plenty of visuals, and you actually got to see Noob Noob here almost die after taking a shot of absinthe. This, we did, uh, yeah, the other two episodes that were this, on. By the time this episode Blade drops, you'll Ozark. have seen that. You'll be able to see those. Uh, so three YouTube episodes. Um, we'll be dropping this in the weekend, and very shortly after that, we'll be dropping the YouTube. So if you're listening to this as it just comes out, keep tuned. YouTube, it will pop up very, very, very soon. And hopefully we'll be able to do a uh, Justice League episode as well. Seriously? And yes, and shortly after that, we'll be Justice League. If this time's out right, we don't have any more technical problems, because that was fun. <laughs> you will be able to see this episode a week before Justice League. And then stay tuned for that because that's going to be a fun one, apparently. Because yeah, we'll just sit here and trash Justice League. Noob, Although noob I'm, I have high, I, I hope Justice League is good, but I really do. I hope it's good, but I've seen the previews now two days in a row, and it makes me see one of the movie less and less every time I see the trailer for it. Well, either way, uh, I guess that's all we have for today. So uh, from all of us here at uh, what? Uh, uh, no, uh, what? Uh, uh, plugs, bitch. What you got? Nothing I to already plug? plugged. No, I have no. You didn't plug, plug anything. You got nothing to plug. You have no. nothing going on in your life. We know freaking tit tit over here has nothing to plug because he's got nothing going on in his life. But I got shit going okay, on. Okay, what do you want to plug? talk about? So, KeylerMedia.com. dot com. Scott will kill you. Got Tom. Go dot to those Tom. website. Dot Tom. Com. Com. I'm echoing the headphones, bitch. You can take them off. All right, thank you. God You're just it. plugging things. I know. I'm just plugging things. So, oh my god, so much better. Weir. So, go to those websites. Go to Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Tonight, well, this will now be two weeks ago. Go on there. 
Twitter us if you want us to review something specific. Let There's us know. A video that I made years and years and years ago that I'm finally releasing now. The footage got lost. It's called Apples and Bananas. It's something that I made back in 2012 with a bunch of friends. It got lost completely, and now I found it and it's put it together and it's going to be released. Blue Iron has been getting reviews nonstop on Amazon reviews. Also, the links are on the Scott Will Kill the, the You. The actual website. show is out. Not the actual show. This Just is the an trailer? extended teaser trailer. It's getting reviews. It's getting reviews. The idea behind – okay, so Amazon reviews, what it basically is, you go, you watch these extended teaser trailers, and then you go ahead and give your two thoughts on it, your reviews, your thoughts. The more reviews, the better. If this thing gets enough reviews and grows as big as we want it to, the full episode gets released, it turns into a series, and we get picked up onto a major network. That's pretty much how Amazon reviews it. There's your little background insight into Are how Are you talking about like works. Amazon Prime streaming? Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime streaming. Amazon reviews. So you and Dino Dana can have a series together. Of Amazon reviews. Yes. So, Dino, so Dino. that's the so Blue Irons there. Apples and Bananas is a short that we just put together, filmed years ago. I just finally put together. That's available now on YouTube as well. Also, keep tuned because very soon I have a movie that will go unnamed that I made that was to be thrown away. That's going to be coming out as well in different parts and series and different adventures. So, do we have to like do oh, a commentary on that movie where I, we can just I sit there and watch it and I, be like, "This is awful." And I do believe Orc this? U is going to be brought into this as well. Like, I can said, we just put it on a TV and be, review it? Oh my god, <laughs> multiple. Can we be done things. with this? All right, I'm tired. Let's call of your it. Plugs. Let's call it. Uh, no, I will we'll plug watch it when we hour. watch it. Yes, and uh, there's plenty more episodes for us to. Uh, That's disgusting. Kill you guys and ruin your reviews. <laughs> Uh, From came in my nose. All of, all of us here at Orc U, uh, to all of you at home, uh, stay chill, and uh, we love y'all. I love Senpai. You've had greatest of fears. 